All right, everyone, here she is, the PTC rig, dual cab 79 series. This is a 2021 model. It has been in the making for quite a while. We had all different plans for this car. It was a six wheel drive on portals and then we couldn't get approvals through in time. So we converted it back to a 4495 uh, J-Max super chassis. 4495 meaning 4495 kilo max GVM. We have done a automatic upgrade conversion to this it's a six speed auto out of the 200 series it's a wholesale autos kit uh, which now upgrades our btc to four and a half ton so this car can be loaded to 4495 and tow four and a half ton it's almost a nine ton rolling package uh, big 35 inch tires we do have diff gears here for this car as well so we're going to chuck some uh, 4.5 diff gears in it uh, to bring it back to sort of uh, standard ratios it's actually totally fine the way it is. It drives amazing. We've done a massive performance package under the bonnet. The, the uh, fellows up at DPU uh, do the install of the auto at the same time as, uh, as the tune. So really important with these six speed auto kits is that they are tuned perfectly to what the, to the application to the tire size. Uh, the fueling in the air, the, the AFR ratios are, are quite critical as well to work hand in hand with that uh, CompuShift unit. So we, uh, what we've got in here, we've got a G-Turbo power pipe, an FFM uh, diesel power limited air box, power torque thermofan kit, a DPU high flow intercooler underneath that. We have also got a G-Turbo G320 and uh, plus 30 injector nozzles as well. So we're running at around, our play mode is around 950 newtons uh, and our sort of, our, our safe tow tune everyday drive is around, I think it was close to 800, uh, between 750 and 800 newtons. Oodles of torque to play with and it's so much fun. So look, a lot of you guys uh, might have come out to the Brizzy show and seen this rig in person. It has a lot of unique <laughs> bits and pieces going on. We've got a lot of 70th series accents in here as well. The steering wheel, uh, the Hilux controls in there integrated into the Kenwood unit. It's a 10 speaker focal sound system. We've got six and a half splits here and there, uh, three inch or four inch focals in there, six and a half inch coaxes back there. We've got the uh, twin focal 10 inch slimline subs in the rear wall panel. We have a, a single mono amp under there with the Helix audio processor unit under that Recaro and the other four channel amp underneath that Recaro back there. This is a 15 litre Bushman's roadie fridge freezer. Perfect, this is the sickest bloke strip car. Like it is just so comfortable to sit in these. These are the um, Recaro Specialist S seats uh, wrapped in black leather obviously. And um, like, I don't know, it is just so cool. I can't believe we've pulled this off. It's the, the fellows down at our Department of the Interior, Rohan and his team down there have developed some insane things over the years, but what they managed to pull off and design for us for this car was just out of this park, out of the park, eh? it's so cool. This is the a very unique, um, it's a Super T. So basically running a four seat conversion you can sacrifice a bit of the headspace here because you don't have a person sitting there and you can bring this T all the way over with more USBs, big touch panel LED. And the floor console, guys, is an extended... Is It's it's a super floor. I think it's called super floor console. Comes all the way back. This part joins on to the original. Um, that's an auto, like an auto shifter console. Um, and then this part joins onto there. We've got the fridge here. We've got a BCDC down there. A 125 amp slimline lithium in behind there with a heap of wiring, uh, three point child restraint system, and um, <laughs> I could keep going obviously, but so I will. I'll keep going a little bit more. We've got the uh, Recaro seats that with the uh, air lumper, we've got the Ideal Seat Company uh, in conjunction with Ergo Drive. Oh, sorry, yeah, Ergo Drive have developed this um, frame that actually bolts straight down into the floor. Um, so this is this is a mod that can be done uh, post rego So you have to get it engineered, obviously, post-registration, which is what we've done here. So what's been made for this can be made again and again and again now. 
which is like everything that we try and do with our car builds, whatever we build and promote to you guys, we need to be able to replicate and, and offer ongoing. These were our first. Um, these are the premium pods from the fellows at our department on the interior. Um, look really nice. It's like an aluminium grill protecting the, the cone and the full full door cards as well. These are a, um, you can have it with a marine ply or an MDF. That's a marine ply uh, wrapped in padded black vinyl. And of course, can't forget the one stones. They're a nice addition to the 79. Uh, got switches, we've got a mirrored switch panel on this side as well. We've got some side lights, air compressor switch. We literally have run out of room all, all the way along here. We've got, uh, what do we got there? We've got the tow haul mode, so that's our basically push that and we go back to tow mode or fun mode. Um, auxiliary is the Brown Davis 115 litre mid tank so we can change between the main and your rear. There's also, so it's 185 litres at the back and we've got 115 in the mid in front of the rear axle so that's a huge carrying capacity of diesel. I think it's uh, it's pretty, it, it, it works well, everything fits really well in these cars with the extension, so you sort of may as well. 10 inch uh, Kenwood floating screen, love that unit, wireless Apple CarPlay, so easy to use and also has the big volume knob up the top there, which is what every bloody head unit should have. Um, what else? That's pretty much it for the interior. We've got the um, extra door sills there, minimise a lot of um, wind noise going down the highway. Safety day of quad screen, so we've got two channels at the tow bar and another on the back of the canopy here, so we can constantly see everything. A little steady light on the back there, nice and integrated, not too obtrusive. All right, that's it for in there for now. You guys can uh, drop heaps of questions, whatever you want to know on that, we'll try and cover them all for you. Um, Norweld 1986 Deluxe, Deluxe Plus tray package so this is the tray that you will get with any extended 79 series well sorry you don't have to have the paint this is the deluxe plus obviously two pack painted sideboard version you can go unpainted but this is what we prefer it looks nice easier to maintain as well uh, we've gone with the half canopy setup so this is the deluxe half canopy which comes with the option of either running an upright fridge or a chest fridge the big clear view uh, 220 drop slide you can fit in there uh, we love the upright and we've got the, the 200 amp lithium just behind in there. Our usual Red Arc Red Vision system, 2000 watt inverter, BMS. We've got a slimline 100 watt solar panel up on the roof rack, which keeps that fridge running all the time. The TVMS system there, double GPO, big storage drawer. We've got another little 600 mil shelf up here. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but this was just a, a point of difference and for what I do with my family and my boys, uh, I need some tray space as well. So firewood, bikes, all the dirty shit that kids seem to bring with them <laughs> um, goes in the back there. And then obviously the van can either hook onto that or it can just be for, for boy weekends. I can get two or three kids up in that roof tent and be good fun. Well, for them, not for me, but <laughs> um, yeah. So this is obviously all French vanilla, two packed with stainless capping on the sideboards. Big rear trundle drawer there, and the new sequential rear tail lights, LEDs, just look the part. Evo courses, guys, Dakar Super Zeros in the matte bronze. It's a 35 inch Nido Ridge Grappler. Love these tyres, highly rate them. Nice and quiet. They're a firm sidewall, so you can you can lower your pressures a bit more than you don't need to run them at 45, 50 pound, like a lot of them say. These are running at about 38 in the rear at the moment, 36 in the front. When they get warm, they, they pump themselves up a little bit, about 4 psi, 3 to 4 psi anyway, so handle really well. J-Max Alphas, electric in-cab control. So I've explained these before. They've got the little G-Sensor calibration unit in here, which we program and set up. They're set to 16 at the moment, which is full soft rear and the front. When we load up the back, we normally firm the rear shocks up to around or about halfway about eight four to eight uh, just to control the body a little bit more and the atd bar work clayton and the team wizards cannot believe the quality of these bars look at the welds on them insane it's a 
it's just a standard two post with our pro touring black powder coat just comes up so cool it's a heavy duty bar there's the side steps and brush rails with it sequential leds along the front there and these ones are just standard led flashes that come on with your side indicators and you can have whatever you want printed in your tread step so yeah rhino uh rhino platform on the top the new uh, wind fairing kit i rate those massively have one on the 300 series and it's just completely eliminated any any wind noise from the roof so um massive fan of them i don't really do a heap of night driving so light bars weren't so important to me just a good set of headlight headlights here these are the 70th um, anniversary headlights we've put some nava leds in there and they work sweet if i was going to do a big trip um, a few months doing a heap of different sort of driving at night and whatever i would put a set of um spotties on the front got the radius arms just sitting at four inches guys four inch and 35s and uh, that's pretty much it. Obviously, there's a lot that <laughs> goes into it, and I've just run through it in about, what, I mean, 10 minutes. Um, a lot of thought. We've done a lot of custom fab up here to get all that tent up there nicely and to, to mount the awning to it as well. There's a lot of weight that pivots on this rear hinge there, so we've uh, fabricated everything in-house, and we get it powder-coated all the same. So, All right, guys. Um, Hit us up if you've got any questions about this car. I want to come and see it. You can book in an appointment to come see it at the shed, the new HQ. Be more than happy to show you through it. Worn, uh, so we do get a lot of questions as well on these rear winches. This is a worn 10 or 12,000 pound VR Evo winch. Uh, it fits perfectly under inside there. We do obviously extend the wiring looms to up onto the back of this tray mount just there. We've, yeah, boys have got it sorted, but that's the rear winch that we use on all of our J-Max Super Chassis. And as this sits right here, with about half a tank of fuel in it, it's 3.7 tonne. For all of you who's going to ask, 3.7 tonne. Oodles of payload left. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.